Hi, Bethel. I just want to say right off the bat that I miss you. Every week I come here and I talk to you, but I don't get to see you. And we're all looking forward to the time when we can gather again in this sanctuary and just be together. We want to let you know that we are aware of all the recent changes that the government in Alberta has put out. These updates keep happening quickly as they start to talk about phase one for our re-entry as a church. You know, what does it look like to gather back here together in this building? And I think before we say anything, we would just ask for you to really pray with us. The governing elders are meeting regularly and talking about what is the wisest way to move forward with this. Our staff here at Bethel, we're talking about, okay, how can we be creative, accommodating, wise, and safe? And we just really need to, God to be in this. So please join us in praying for how do we do this in the next coming months as we move towards a time after COVID-19. I want to say something about 24-7 prayer. So our 24-7 prayer week is coming up May 24 through May 31. And I want to encourage you to go to Bethel's homepage, go to the 24-7 graphic and click on it. And then you can sign up for an hour or two or more. Sign-ups are really going well, but we want to see everyone represented. Now, don't be afraid to sign up where somebody else has signed up. If that works for you, then please do that. Uh, two people or three people or four people can all be praying at the same time. We want to let you know that there's a great book available for you. It's called How to Pray. It was written by Pete Gregg, who is the founder of the whole 24-7 prayer movement and it's just a great book about you know how to pray and you could come to the church here and you can get a copy of that book for yourself we have been hearing incredible things coming out of the united kingdom more people than ever are tuning into church uh, more people are praying than who have ever prayed before and more people are ordering 24-7 prayer resources than have ever done that before I like to think that the Holy Spirit is working in Canada in the same way that he's working in the UK. I'm not exactly sure, but this is why we get together to pray. So I want to urge you to do that. Now listen, you have a good week, Bethel.